Well, congratulations on your victory. Once again, kind of a, a stagnant second quarter, but you really seem to rile up the troops. You know, they always say, and by they I mean the dimwits next to me that uh, was watching the game, that uh, true coaching really comes in being able to motivate your team at halftime <laughs> and getting them out in the third quarter. What did you say to your team to get them going? <laughs> um, you know, I, I wish I had some magical say I say it every halftime. Um, you know, one of our big things was we had to win the paint. And obviously, in the first half, we didn't win the paint because... Um, basically, they, they got every offensive rebound there was. They had 18 offensive rebounds in half. And we were very disappointed in that. And, you know, I, like I said, I'm not going to go into what I said at halftime, but it was very, very simple. Um, you know, we've, we've been playing these guys for three games now. We've we played them 10 or 10, almost, we've been preparing for them for 10 days because uh, we've had like a three game series with them. And I basically said, guys, it's, you got to go do what we've been talking about doing. And if you do that, we'll win. If you don't, we'll get embarrassed. Now, you expect the games out of, like, Justin Detman and uh, Lance Thomas, but it seems like in the two home games you've had some pretty good performances out of Terrence Woodbury. Uh, what has he kind of brought to the team? Well, he's been big for us. So the two home wins we've had, uh, you know, he had, I think, what do you have, uh, 15 at halftime? You know, yeah. 20 for the game. And, uh, especially in the first half when we were struggling, we were trying to find some baskets. He was able to put some in for us. And, uh, you know, him and Justin really kept us in the game in the first half. When, uh, I thought we came out in the first quarter with a lot of good energy and we were running our stuff and getting, some, you know, getting the stuff we want, the shots we wanted. But for some reason, we really tend to struggle in the second quarter when we get into our substitution patterns of running our stuff and getting the shots we want. Um, but luckily, during that stretch, uh, Terrence made some big shots for us and kept us in the game. I, we were down, I told our assistant, our assistant coaches at halftime, we were down one point and I felt like we were down 20. Now, uh, it's pretty, Tesla's pretty physical. I mean, they're a good defensive team, and uh, it seems like a couple of players got banged up. I saw Justin was kind of limping, limping at the end, and uh, Keith got banged up a little bit. Can you talk about their status? Yeah, we had, um, uh, they're going to get evaluated in the morning. You know, Keith uh, banged up his shoulder, and uh, I don't know exactly how severe it is. Uh, and then Luke, I think, got a broken nose. And, uh, oh. So uh, that's a... Tough deal, but I, I and talking about what a tough kid he is. I think he broke it back to put it back in place in the locker room. So uh, he gets player of the game in my book. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Anything you want to say to the fans about Thursday night's game? Uh, we, uh, we appreciate the support the first two games, and uh, we have a big weekend coming up next weekend. We have three home games Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, hopefully the, the guys will be uh, continue to play hard, and you guys can continue to come out and support us. All right, thanks. Austin Toro, share the experience.